So this one, also new for me. It means, it's a verb. It means crush something, typically paper or cloth, so that it becomes mm, creased and wrinkled. Scrunch? It's, it's something else. I, mm. now I can add, I can add to you, uh, I can give you more information, like the okay. number of letters. One, okay. two, if you have paper and pen, you could use it. Or computer. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's because I like writing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven letters. Seven. The first letter is C. And it, it's a verb, it means crush something, typically paper or cloth, so that it becomes creased and wrinkled. I don't know what creased is, but I know what wrinkle is. So creased would be like my, my fan. This is creased. Mm -hmm. Like the paper is creased, like it's been folded. Yes, yes, I, I was gonna <laughs> say that. So, uh, put in, in a sentence, he, Blank up the paper bag. He folded up the paper bag. It could be, but the first letter I, I gave oh, you, you said is C. C. Yes. Uh, he crumpled. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> and now you tell me, is it a common word? Would you use that word? Do you hear people saying that? Because the book is very old. So I'm right. afraid some words may be too old. So, yes, I would use the word crumbled, uh, crumpled, but crumpled, I imagine, is a bit more destroyed. When we talk about making creases or folding a paper, I imagine that to be a bit more like organized, whereas crumple is like I, I crumple it and I throw it away. Mm -hmm. it, it That's makes the sense. only it's, adjustment. It's still in the same... Um, Field in the same yeah. box. <laughs> exactly. The same idea. The same idea. Thank you. In Brazil, do you do the time change for daylight savings? In the south, people do that, but not here because okay. I live in the north, really close to the equator. So uh. we have 12 hours of sunlight, 12 hours of just night. <laughs> and it behaves like that throughout the year. And it doesn't okay. vary a lot. So the sun rises at 6 a.m. and it sets at 6 p.m. every yeah, day. Yeah, so very similar to Costa Rica. But not in Canada, right? No, in Canada, it's a very different situation. <laughs> uh, and some places in Canada are still doing the time change and some places are stopping the time change. So that's going to be very confusing. Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> when I was in Miami, for the first time in my life, I, that was the first time I was outside Brazil. It was our okay. first uh, travel abroad. And yep. there it was 6, 7.30 p.m., 7.30 p.m. And the sun was, already, was still setting. There was still sunlight. And for amazing. me, it was so amazing because it was the first time, man, 7.30 is night. There should be no <laughs> sun for me. But I didn't expect that to happen in Miami because it's not that up far north, right? Right. It's not. Did that sound correct? It's not up far north. It's not that far north. Ah, thank you. It's not that far north. And it's still that happened. I, I thought it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even a little bit of distance away from the equator, we see a lot more of that daylight change and weather change and time change. Yeah. Would you say in Canada, the air is dry? Yes, yes. Although sometimes in the summer, it is very humid. And sometimes in the winter, when we have a lot of snow, that can also make the air more wet feeling. Mm. But inside your house in Canada, it is very dry because we so often have to have the heat systems going and that makes the air much more dry. Mm. For us, it was a new experience too, because in Miami, the air was so dry for us, so dry mm. that our lips would crack and bleed. Yeah, you get chapped lips. Exactly. Uh, the chapped 
lips it mm-hmm. means when you're when happen when like, that happens it cracks and dries and they're very sore we call that chapped lip ah interesting that's probably why the kind of lipstick that you use is chapstick chapstick exactly ah good i didn't know that <laughs> i knew about chapstick but i didn't know about that <laughs> yeah there's so, the connection <laughs> you are helping me so much so much oh, I'm so is, glad. yeah because it usually sometimes people talk uh hear some tutors some tutors talk too much about stuff <laughs> i, I want to talk about english i want to talk about vocabulary and, um, yes <laughs> and you're helping I think me it's important to let the student decide. That's the whole idea. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Ah, we only have one minute left. Yes. So now it's the time when I say, I have a YouTube channel about English. And, awesome. and mostly I upload videos that uh, are generated here when I have lessons on Cambly. But only, sure. of course, when the tutor allows me to. So I would like to ask permission for you. Uh, to use this on my YouTube channel. Would you allow me to? Yeah, I don't mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Say, I wait until the end to ask this, <laughs> because if I ask when the class begins, uh, once the tutor doesn't know me already, uh, they, may, mm. they may feel uh, shy. Nah, I don't want yeah, my Yeah, but good to have that familiarity. Yes, first, we got to know a little about each other. <laughs> Well, I really enjoyed talking with you today. So me please feel too. free to give me a call again in the future. I will. Have a nice day. You too. Take care. Bye.